Ladies and gentlemen, what is going down from the AMD family? They're going to be giving us a brand new software. It is going to be hybrid. It is not anything past what we've already seen in the 2020. There are going to be some 2021 style options, which are pretty cool. We'll be getting into all that along the way with some patch notes and some benchmarks. My name is Mac with the MacGyver 7 channel and today we'll be looking at what AMD has changed in their brand new 21.4.1. So let's go ahead and size those up against each other. Let's go ahead and dive into it, shall we? Now I'll have this linked down below personally myself. I would suggest for when they say there's brand new software, especially something that they're marketing as a brand new UI, you're going to want to grab it from here and just do a clean install. So do a DDU, clean swipe it. And they do have a really great install process nowadays and we'll even take a quick look into. As you can see right over here, once you get it ready to install and just boot up, you'll see some details. But what we're going to get at too, because I'm not going to complete this process because I still am streaming. So let's go ahead and get along with this. You, you do get this nice little shiny, awesome background. That's cool. Uh, but this is the more important part right over here. And they do address that you get the full install. So it's like the, the streaming portion, the recording, the performance, tuning. Though, if you don't want the bloatware, you can do minimal install and or just the driver. So you're not really do interfering with anything. And it's almost like doing the clean install for NVIDIA and not having the Windows version install directly go inside there. So you're not having any interference. Now you can also select this, which was newer across the board nowadays for factory reset and keep settings. Yeah, you can or cannot since mine already memorized that hey you are on the newer software it didn't want to like uh mess those settings up but they're gonna go ahead and cancel out of that yes it definitely would like to do that so we can do some what is going down with the patch notes now one of the things that's been expanded directly has definitely been the AMD link. So the brand new AMD link for Windows Clinic, which you directly can install, which is there. I always noticed that was pretty cool. If you go over to your Windows, you just go over here, you're going to see Windows and then there's AMD link. You can click that and it'll take you to where you can client jump into, which I thought was pretty cool. Besides that situation where you can see the desktop, you can also see that there are some new game features that allow you to easily connect with your friends and troubleshoot some problems. Redesign the streaming technology as the visuals and low latency. Now supports up to 4K, 144 frames. That's pretty sweet. Now qualities that have the dynamic adjust stream settings based on the internet connection. Also on top of the situation, you will be seeing the Radeon software coming for the interface and the options are now available in the Radeon software installer modifier. So as we looked before with the UI in the first one to two minutes, we saw what was going down for what you can select inside of that. On top of that, for a vivid game display, you can see that there are going to be some cool menu selections with inside of the UI once it's installed, which isn't too much. We're going to take a look at that before we exit out and we will be sewing this up for as far as the Radeon software. So improved search bar function, color correction will be seen on top of there. You'll be seeing stat information, what mentioned before, historic portions of navigation between tabs it's just like a whole bunch of just like we brushed it up but it's the same thing trust me uh, we're gonna skim over to where it says recording and streaming and hopefully this is a lot of fix for people that have been utilizing this leave a comment down below very curious how that goes uh, for as far as the settings they have consolidated those tabs you can see at the very end of this we'll be taking a quick look at that now also into the ui performance for as far as the wizard that helps the recording, it will be a little bit easier and more adaptive for as far as the qualities, the improved scenes and the editors and the usability for as far as the creating and editing scenes. So it's going to be like more like OBS where you have the stop and pause. Like that is like awesome. Stop and pause is like probably like the most useful situation you can do without having to try to edit it with the process later on um, and options for as far as the display and the recording and the uh, system configuration 
For as far as performing and tuning, you can now see CPU monitoring inside of there as well as improved metrics. There is some AMD crash defenders for as far as the data. Personally, I turn it off. It usually interferes a little bit with it sometimes, but this newer version may not. Um, they also have an AVI decoder, which was, was supported directly talked about with Windows. So you can kind of share that. Uh, there is also a um, extended portion for platforms in the mobile department. Now, fixed issues that come across after that they've glamorized everything instead of here. We can see that the brightness and the flickering and the intermittently occurs in the games for as far as the applications and the Radeon FreeSync is enabled. The game is set inside of the borderless full screen. VR also may experience some shutters, no more, hopefully, for as far as where the 500 series. And I know that's always been a common selector, like for as far as post videos. Very curious how people are doing with the RX uh, series. It's always nice to see, as that also comes down to the 6000 series coming into gameplay for as far as the high refresh in the uh, resolution for TVs that may experience some uh, corruption instead of the HDMI for that 6000 series and the applied changes in the radeon perform tunings sometimes failed for as far as the effects and change inside of the power tuning and like that was one thing i did notice when i was messing around with like overclocking it a little bit it did perform a little bit like more stable within the boundaries you can't push it but then it kind of drops here and there like where it used to be where you could lock in a nice stability and then i don't know where you could just you know was like, no, I don't want to work anymore. And I was like, oh, bummer. Reset and refresh. Let's do it again. But applying some changes inside of that for the Radeon tuning and say this sometimes may take effect no more. This is also a list that extends to the CPU and the intensive workload in certain games where there was getting a little bit more higher than usual reportings now should hopefully be fixed and the global performance also in the tuning in the overclock profile may sometimes override games specifically meaning you'll kind of tune it up or crash it and out of nowhere you're just going to get really fast fps and then a drop out uh, inside of certain profile launches also radeon chill may experience some lower experience performance when the game was left idle for as far as the enabled so <laughs> Basically, if you were using it, it wasn't working well for you. Unfortunately, we also see, and fortunately, a fix for Cyberpunk. And we see that that basically comes down to, for the 6000 series, probably more than likely related to ray tracing. There are a lot of known issues that I will leave right over here, but so we can get to the actual benchmarks. Let's go ahead and take a little peek at the UI. There are some known issues for as far as the link as well. <laughs> Surprise, something new from AMD. Not always ironed out perfectly, but we'll get there. Now, in order to access this, this is what they've kind of, I feel like this is the new UI. That looks new, you know? You select that, it's no longer like the old school one, but it's not quite there. And you can see right now what I usually do for all mine, and this is my own overclock, what I end up doing myself. This is the same exact dial and end setting that we got before. It's got some newer settings up here that they've added in, in the, I guess, previous months. But there's nothing really past that. Now there is a really nice streamlined UI up here. But when you go over here to the settings, it's nothing super crazy past what we used to have. Um, so I'm not really impressed too much with the UI overhaul. I mean, it looks exactly almost the same. I was expecting something cooler. But I mean, if people love it, all power to them that's cool i hope that they save some time and they're super happy but for me i was hoping for some more pizzazz amd but let's go ahead and look at what was happening in the benchmark department does it make uh, sense to upgrade now with the hardware accelerated portion that they do mention inside of the other notes that i noticed that i was browsing through there but i didn't really mention till now um, was something I'm assuming that they're going to toggle in later on for right now We're just gonna keep it to the basics brand new and old on the right. We're gonna have the 21.4.1 versus the uh, 
21.3.2, which wasn't too bad. As you can see right now with the new Windows platform, it is kind of uh, killing it when it comes down to graphics for 4K and the DirectX 12 department. But as we go to the 1080p and away from 4K, I mean, at least it was a draw. I thought that was really interesting that they kind of size each other up and there is a really cool 1080p pull forward in the uh, DirectX 11 which we're going to take a peek at right now. Now you can see that there's not a percentage boost where you're going to get super crazy but there is some nice control within the physics. There is a nice gain and stability within the graphics though I did not notice anything super crazy like frame tears or anything like that it seems like a very well balanced driver as it pushes forward from new to old new on the right old on the left it does quite well I think it's awesome that we're starting to see a little bit more stability within the way the performance can come within the graphics now with Fire Strike and we climb up the ladder with DirectX 11 with the extreme version You can see that there is a little bit of a reduction a tiny bit not something that's super crazy It's literally passing the torch as we see what happens in 4k It's almost identical inside of points. So what ends up happening at the end of the day? They gave us a little bit more of I guess satisfaction I'm gonna go over my PlayStation UI as we close this up with I guess stability in the newer UI and I think that there are some great gains for that but this isn't something groundbreaking this isn't something that was just like well it's cool like I like the whole 2019 to 2020 software pop super cool even during the installer once you go past what we introduced in the very beginning of the episode you'll see that there are the, the advertisements for the 2020 software um, it just, I, I don't know. I think that they're rocking 2020's UI too hard and trying to say it's brand new. I mean, the user interface just needs to be a nice overhaul. But that's just my opinion. I think AMD's doing good for the most part. At least we didn't see huge step backs. We just saw passing of the torch is the way I look at this. And hopefully that this brings stability for a lot of gameplay. If not, leave a comment down below. If you're brand new, definitely join the community brand new awesome subscriber hit that notification bell straight down the center like liberty bell so it rings out with all the new tech news that rolls out from my channel i will see you guys and gals in the near future thank you for joining me in this very long i guess gated portion of what was the adrenaline software brand new updates um i was hoping for a little more but I wasn't left with uh, a uh, bad like taste, I suppose. It's pretty chill. But I'm looking to the community that I already have within the side of these videos to hear what they think as well and how their video cards are performing. Have a very nice day. See you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.